Hey guys and gals, Gunshine Mori back with another mod review where today we're going to be looking at Lapis Lazuli's second creature for Feral Fauna, the Wallicerops. Now these guys are quite literally cousins of the Trilobites, you will notice that immediately by them, except they have one major difference in between them and the Trilobites. These guys are tameable. Now before you guys go out and actually try and tame one of these Wallicerops, there is some basic info that you guys will need to know on them. Firstly is that their drops are all exactly the same as the trilobites so you will get oil, silica pearls, and shittin. And as well, they are bottom walkers like the trilobites. So if you go out into the ocean with one of them and you drop it, it will sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. So good luck. Now for where you guys can actually find a Wallace Rops, they tend to spawn pretty frequently on the beaches of the island and of the center. Now they do plan on adding an aberrant variant here soon, so they will be spawning on aberration as well. And now we are moving on to how to actually tame one of these Wallicerops. And hello buddy, I forgot I had you tamed on this island. But the way you guys actually tame a Wallicerops here is fairly similar to the otters where you drag up a body to it and you feed it to it. Except the Wallicerops here has a bigger selection of creatures that it likes because it is a bit of a picky eater so the list goes compi colacanth dodo dillo and lystro those are the five creatures that these guys will actually select for you guys to bring up to them so now this one here is currently selecting a colacanth so i need to drag a colacanth up to actually begin the taming process okay so i got me a colacanth and here we go this is gonna this is gonna begin the taming process so that one little colacanth there gave me 24% and now the next creature that this Wallacerops want is a dodo. So I need to find a dodo and drag it over. All right, and now I got me a dodo, so I feed it. Now you could definitely make this a whole lot easier on yourself by having the creatures pre-prepared and ready to go like in cryopods so that way you can just chop them up, feed them. So that we can make this go by as fast as possible. So I do recommend that you guys do that. Now he wants a colacanth, so I gotta get me another fish. Alrighty, so he's getting pretty close here. I have fed him three times thus far. This should be the fourth feed. It does look I'm gonna need one more here on four times taming. And he is gonna want a compi. Alrighty, I got my compi here, and wa-bam, there we go. That there is how you tame up a wall. Whoa. I can never get these guys' names right. Wallicerop. Alrighty guys, so now that you got yourself a Wallicerop tamed up, there are some abilities here that you will need to know about. Firstly here is that they can deal recoil damage similar to the Arthropura and even the Kentros to any attackers. Now this damage is not reduced by the armor that you are wearing, so if you're wearing flak, uh, that reflected damage is the full amount all right it's not the amount that was dealt to you it was the in initial entire amount that that attack was meant to do now second here for the abilities it has the ability here to shoot out what i like to call a fear spine now you will notice it here on the very top of my head here there's three little spikes sticking out from the well Lycerop. Those are the three little spines. Another way that you can see them is they're on your hotbar there on the left. It's those three little spikes. Now, these will be shot out at any creature that attacks you that is under the drag weight of 150. Now, that is the carry drag weight of an Argentavis. So, if the creature can be carried by an Argentavis, it can be repelled by one of these fear darts. Now, one of the best ways to show you guys this is by having a raptor attack me here real quick. Now you will notice that it's not getting shot with the spear spike right now. That's because I am in creative mode and absolutely no damage is actually being dealt to my creature or my character. But as soon as I drop my creative mode here and I actually take damage, wha bam. One of the spear was it bleh, one of the spikes is shot out at the raptor and it is given the fear debuff. And that lasts up to 10 seconds and it actually will cause them to run far enough down the beach that they will no longer be even aggroed onto you and it also gives you time to get away from them. 
Now, as well for you people that were wondering, the Wallicerops here are actually breedable. And the way that you do that is you have to bring them deep enough into the water and you just have to enable them breeding. The only thing that you have to do here is again, get them deep enough in the water for it to be allowed. Now there is one little thing here I have noticed when they're when they breed, and that is that sometimes that their egg, when it spawns in, will spawn way above the water, about a good 20 feet. So do keep that in mind if you do decide to actually breed these. Now that is all I actually have for you guys for today on the Wallace Rops. It is a pretty simple creature, pretty easy to tame, pretty easy to find. Now, if you guys are wondering where you guys can get updates on the Feral Fauna mods, uh, Lapis Lazuli here has actually launched a Discord. I will have a link to that in the description. It will be there next to the link over to the mod. And yeah, so if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, once more, this is Gunshy Morai signing out. Peace, guys and gals.